<clears throat> All right, back on the morning drive, 1059 WVGA. I want to welcome into the studio my good buddy John Corbin. John, how you doing this morning, man? Good morning. All right, if you'll notice on Facebook, he's got the Swanee Riverkeeper banner flying high there, and uh, we, we appreciate what you do to. Uh, protect the rivers and streams in our area on a personal level and uh, also not only you but the group uh, the whole walls watershed coalition and all the swanee riverkeeper folks uh, we appreciate it well thank you we appreciate lean you right, getting us on there. lean right on the end of that thing john there you go yeah uh, there we, you go we yeah. appreciate you getting us on there yes sir well what's the latest what's going on i know you still got the, the third annual songwriting contest in full swing i think y'all y'all getting it getting it close to getting it narrowed down if i'm not mistaken that's right. It's coming up this Saturday at Art Park down at the Turner Center. That's mm -hmm. just north across the side street from the Turner Center for the Arts in uh, Valdosta, Georgia. That's on Patterson Street. Yep, we got five finalists they are going to play. <clears throat> and um, we got a song about the Okie Pinocchio, a couple of songs about the Swanee, one about with the Coochie. Oh, wow. yep, yep. Way down down on the with, with the Coochies or something like that. <laughs> uh, that one is actually... Uh, um, called uh, the With the Coochie Hoochie Coochie. The With the Coochie Hoochie Coochie. That ought to be pretty interesting. And uh, mm -hmm. of course the event's going to be emceed by our, our Valosta Mayor Scott James. And uh, he'll do a good job there. And uh, of course you got a headline uh, band playing Dirty Bird and the Flute. That's correct. Yeah. The local stars. Local stars. Good deal. The contest is going on mm -hmm. from 7 to 10 p.m. Saturday. Uh, this Saturday, August the 22nd. The five finalists, are they going to play their songs at the at the They game? will. That's the idea. First, I got the, you. first the headliner will play, and right. then each of the headliner is going to play for about 30 minutes. Then each of the uh, judges will play a song. They're all songwriters, too. Okay, gotcha. All right, so it's going to be a lot of music that night, mm -hmm. uh, culminating in the selection mm -hmm. by the judges of the winning song. Somebody's going to win $300. Somebody's going to win $300, and uh, it's going to be a good event at a great place. The uh, art park there at the Turner Center is a great place to uh, mm -hmm. go take your family. Uh, is there going to be any uh, uh, charge or admission or to get in to watch it? That's right. It's $10 online. You can buy a ticket right now online. Go to walls.net, www.als.net, or swaneeriverkeeper.org. Look on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. You'll find all this. Or twelve dollars at the door. Okay, all right, good deal. There's uh, going to be uh, some uh, uh, some vendors there as far as uh, food. And drink. Rico's Tacos is going to be providing food. Can't beat that. Yeah, I just saw them down at Georgia Beer Company. That, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's a that's some good eating right there. Another good reason to show up on Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, the Poor House, that's P O U R, the Poor House will be providing drinks of various kinds. I gotcha. Do you expect a big, big crowd? Should they get there earlier? Uh, I mean, I think it's going to be a pretty big event. Well, we hope you get there early. Uh, sound check's going to start at 5 o'clock, so okay. if you want to hear them tune it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. It's always always good to go down there and uh, listen to some music going into fun. And for a really good, really good event, uh, brings a lot of awareness to what the mission that you are that, that you hold so dear, near and dear to your heart. Mm -hmm. I know this is kind of off the script, John, but you've... Uh, You've pretty much uh, lived this as long as I've known you. What inspired you to be such a, 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 a conservation and such a, a proponent for our environment? What, what was the inspiration behind that? When did it occur? Have you always been this way? Uh, well, you know, um, somebody asked me that question in Florida recently. I actually got a video of my answer. But oh, really? Well, that's, kind of, that's kind of cool. cool, cool. Yeah, I'll tell you more or less the same thing. Uh, you know that building where Georgia Beer Company is? Yeah, yeah, downtown. Yeah. You know what that used to be, right? Uh -uh. That's the old waterworks where they used to get the water for Valdosta. Okay. Uh -huh. A hundred years ago, my grandfather was the superintendent there. Really? Mm -hmm. How about that? Until he literally bought the farm in 1921. The farm that I live on now yeah. is going to be 100 years next year. 100 years, wow. So that's part of it. And uh, on the farm, we have a little creek and we got a cypress swamp. The creek runs down to the width of Coochie through a pond. Mm -hmm. So water's always been important. And even before Grandpa, his, grand, his father was a, a timber grader on the Altamaha River down at the mouth of the river in Darien. Yeah. We got an old picture of him standing there in a charcoal gray suit with a timber hook on logs. How about that? Yeah, that was like him. He was an elder in the Presbyterian yeah. Church. Right. So uh, 
it's kind of, you know, kind of in the blood, you could say. I gotcha. I gotcha. My, my aunt, Elsie, unfortunately deceased at the age of 103. She was a professor of plant ecology at Vanderbilt University. So I would hear about that every single time. <laughs> That's right. Big influence on you right there. Mm -hmm. well, what's, uh, what's the latest activity that you guys have as far as, uh, you know, our rivers and, and local streams and the... Uh, the events that are going on there. I know that you guys always are uh, organizing cleanup events and paddles down the river. What's the latest uh, on well, the Well, that's schedule? right. we got a cleanup coming up on August 29th, right here in Valdosta. It's going to be on Two Mile Branch, One Mile Branch, and Sugar Creek. Okay. And boy, they need it. Um, <clears throat> so, um, um, uh, Scotty J, one of our more uh, busy members. He's going to be doing most of the organizing for that. We're probably going to start fairly early in the morning, not mm -hmm. too early, probably around about 8 or 9 o'clock. You'll see a posting about that soon. We're also doing cleanup in, up in Barron County on September 12th at Barron Beach. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to come to that. And on October 10th, we're doing a cleanup in conjunction with Lowndes County. They invited us to do this. That's going to be at Troopville, where the Troopville boat ramp is, all the way down to the confluence at Naylor boat ramp, the new one they built on the Alapaha River, right. and at Langdale boat ramp on the Withlacoochee. So that's the little river, the Alapaha, and the Withlacoochee all on the same day. That's uh, October 10th, going to start at 9 and at 11. Okay. That's a lot of activity going on. They always got a full calendar, it seems. Oh, that's just cleanups. That's just cleanups, yeah. Also, on um, August 29th, this was already scheduled. I think I'm the foolish one who put the cleanup at the same day. We're doing a bike and paddle down on the Suwannee River. Okay. Which means we're going to, you take your boats down, you put them in, then you drive to the takeout, then you get on your bicycle and ride back to the put in. Well, that's pretty good. That's a lot of good exercise right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How far is that? Uh, it should take like half an hour on the bicycle to get back up okay, there. See, bad. the river curves, but yeah. the road goes so straight. straight. Yeah, yeah. You, can, yeah. you can travel miles on the river, you know, more mm -hmm. miles on the river than you can driving or riding the bicycle back mm -hmm. up. So. Yeah, this avoids the big problems with outings. We can't mm -hmm. do shuttles. We can't yeah. cram people into a car to go That's back. right. That's right. That's right. But also, we do these full moon paddles out on Banks Lake near Lake One. I bet that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next one's coming up September 2nd, that's the corn moon. And we got one October 1st, that's the harvest moon. And then we got a Halloween, because there's two full moons in October, the last one on Halloween. Yeah, that's a little spooky right there. There'll be a good mm -hmm. uh, atmosphere out there on the, on the banks lake there with the moon mm -hmm. and Halloween and all that. That's kind of spooky. Bats, with the alligators. Alligators and bats, bats yeah. and trees. And of course, in uh, October, on um, Saturday, October 24th, we got the Walls Boomerang Paddle Race down at State Line Boat Ramp. All right, this is a competition here. This is a race. That's right. Yeah. All right, this is uh, going on Saturday, October 24th. Uh, now, tell me a little bit about that. What uh, What do you, uh, what, they're going to uh, literally put in and race to a, to a finish line? Well, it, it's, uh, you race, either you can pick one, two, or three miles downstream, and then you have to turn around and do the same back upstream. You got to paddle back up. Straight? That's right. Goodness, mm. you just lost me there, John. I, I'm in no condition to be paddling upstream. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you'd be surprised. You yeah. can do it, even I can do it. Okay. So you paddle downstream into Florida and then back upstream into Georgia. Well, we had a dignitary from Hamilton County last time to see us off. We hope we'll get more this time. Well, cool. That's cool. Now this is a family-friendly event. If you got uh, oh, yeah. kids and all that, that'd be a heck of a good time. Man, I'm looking at the pictures on the flyer. I'm gonna show, I'll show it mm -hmm. on Facebook where you can see it. But uh, it looks like everybody's having a really good time, and uh, mm -hmm. that looks like something you can do. And, you know, in this age of COVID-19, we're all looking for, you know, family-friendly, safe outings, and that sure looks like it fits the bill. We had people from four years old to 69 last time. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. we're not playing right in then. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the winners was a student from the SU. Well, how about that? Mm -hmm. Wintersville. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good stuff. Bro. Goodness, well, you got a stack. Is there anything else going on we got to make everybody aware of? Well, as you probably know, we're doing a lot of work while you're testing, yeah. and uh, people are wondering, what is that about? So we wrote up this thing, which is uh, the situation of water quality testing. Okay. And it explains um, what's going on. Um, 
Fortunately, Valdosta has not spilled again since that big spill right. in early December. We hope they right. don't, but That's we're right. watching. They know it. We're watching. That's right. That's Unfortunately, right. they're not doing a lot more testing. They're testing three times a week, 40 river miles from North Valdosta Road all the way down to the state line, okay. which has helped uh, confirm what, what we found that uh, fairly frequently this high E. coli, that's that nasty fecal bacteria you don't mm -hmm. want in the water, high E. coli readings at Knights Ferry Boat Ramp, which is way below Valdosta. So we looked into where that's coming from. Apparently a lot of it's coming down uh, Oak Pilco Creek out of Brooks County mm -hmm. after rain events. Wow. Where is it coming from? Well, it turns out cow manure. Yeah. Yeah. We have a pretty good idea of that that's what it is. Um, this one's a little harder to see what it is, but uh, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection has been doing some DNA marker and chemical tracer sampling. Yeah. And our uh, chair of our science committee, the Wall Science Committee, Dr. Thomas Potter, uh, that's a paper he wrote up. It's on walls.net, www.ls.net, or swaneyreadkeeper.org goes the same place. And you can see in there that in the contest between the human DNA and the ruminant DNA, the ruminants are winning. Now, ruminants are animals that chew their cut. Sure. So that includes deer and goats and camels and giraffes. I don't think we have many of them around now. Probably not. The only thing numerous enough to cause the sky-high E. coli readings we see from time to time are cattle. Mm -hmm. Now, fortunately, some of the cattle owners in Brooks County they were shocked when I brought this to them. They want to be part of the solution. They're busy doing all sorts of things to try to correct. The and that's what it's all about, finding oh, yeah. a solution. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's, uh, we can all join in on that. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, well received, your, your efforts are well received among some of the cattle farmers. That's, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. They're doing things up to and including shipping cows out to Kansas to reduce the population and um, fencing them back away from the waterways and things mm -hmm. of that nature. It'll be mm -hmm. some time before we know if this is actually working, because you know, it's agriculture, it's not sure. you just fix a pipe or turn a switch, That's it right. takes yeah. you know, months or years. That's right, yeah, it's a, little, it's a big effort, but <clears throat> you gotta start somewhere. That's right, that's start right. Somewhere. Well, that's good news. The good news is that the, the, the testing here in Valdosta is indicating that things are better, we'll celebrate that, and then we can tackle what's going on down at Knight's Ferry, and in mm -hmm. that area there, we can, you just keep, you stay vigilant, you keep working on it, keep bringing it to people's attention because, again, I always say it, I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, uh, Green Party, whatever the case, nobody wants dirty water. Nobody. Yeah, who and wants to drink dirty water? Raise your hand. I'll see you <laughs> Nobody raise it. You raise your hand, but that don't just count. Just illustration. <laughs> That's right. All right, is there anything else we need to get out of before I let you go? Let's not forget, this Saturday, the yeah. third annual Wall Street right. Meringue, um, uh, a song, uh, excuse me, Flying River Keeper Songwriting Contest. That's right, that's right. Good we man. will be requiring mass, okay. state okay. requirement, sure. but not when you're sitting at the table. We'll have right. the table spaced out far enough that okay. you know, with the group you came with, don't worry about it. Now, right. please, if you can, bring your own chair and table. We'll sure. have some. Right. And there's plenty of space at the art park, and we'll have food from Rico's Taco and drinks from the Four House and all sorts of music. Come on down, it's festival. All right, Samantha Matthews, uh, the uh, director there at the Turner Center, she said to give you a shout out, and uh, she's looking forward to the event going on this Saturday, too. So y'all come out and check it out. That's this Saturday. If you need more information, shoot me a text at the hotline, 229-241-1059. And I'll get that to you. Appreciate you coming in, John. And thanks to Georgia Beer Company for Georgia being our top tier sponsor. That's right. All right, 1059 WBG. We'll be right